All right, welcome back, everybody. to some more Rise of the Slime, where we're playing a ridiculous run for trying to salvage what would looked at like an unplayable deck. But oh no, we found a healing room. Are you kidding me? Yes, give it to me. Mmm, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, that's nice. Oh, and can I pet upgrades? Drain bot to life drain instead of five defense at the end of turn. Yes. But we combo with the fence from the reinforce every turn. I think this is the right play. We, always, we already have a bit of healing and I just need more stuff that really tanks and combos with the reinforce. Because we don't have a lot of stuff that, that combos with. I think it's more or less the only defense we're getting in. So as much as I would have liked that lifestyle, it's, it would not have been the right play, I think. All right, I, with the healing room and that, now I feel like we can probably even make this work. And we got some new cards that can burn other cards and stuff like that. Oh. Just more money. Well, we can afford a mana upgrade if we ever find a, a, a shrine for that again. I gotta start getting better at clicking at all kinds of stuff because sometimes it's not super obvious what it is that I need to be clicking on in the background. Let field fill pots. A pot will deal 15 damage when dropped on a unit. That is a mutation, not a thing that happens as a base, apparently. Oh, oh, oh. It's also a little bit hard sometimes to click on the right thing. Oh, I missed. Well done. Uh, uh, this. Oh, I have managed to hit myself. All right. <laughs> Obviously, that's possible. I took 15 damage from that, I think. So that was not so good. These guys I remember being not that bad. So we are going to drop two pots on this guy in the back. Oh, could have killed you. Damn it. All right, we'll still do this. Parasite, hardened iron, reinforce, opener. Uh, mm -mm -mm. So we want to stand still, then we get more mana next turn. So we are going to do opener. Ethereal shield, hardened iron. Small shield, small shield. Shroud of Darkness. Oh. Goblin Shadowcaster. Darkness, unable to target, I suppose. Draw. Acid Pit. We can hit with the Greatsword this turn. But then I would have less mana next turn and it wouldn't kill him. And they are also melee specialists, so they would just do more damage in the turn following that. That didn't do anything. Acid pet then. Um, I might have to run away. They're going to do a lot of damage right now. Oh, we had some defense that carried over from last turn, so I think we'll be okay then. I don't think this is a mark of the Phoenix turn either, so... Yeah. They're running around in the asset. That guy will give me corruption cards, I think. Bad deck. Oh, we know this one. But I can burn it now. Burn card. I can burn the fumble. Add defense equal to asset stack. Uh, my asset stack, I see. Okay. 
And we are gonna burn the fumble. And I suppose play the rejuvenate, because why not? Um if the rest Passive asset, uh, terrain stuff, uh, and just spit from this uh, familiar is really, really nice. We can burn the parasite now. Now I think that is a no-brainer, as they would call it. Toxic shield, foul swamp. Bitter shield adds defense points equal to your asset stack. We can steal asset stacks to get a bit of shield this turn, and I think that is the right play because otherwise we may just take damage and we would not want to take damage. Foul swamp. Anything else? Bit of shield. I could give myself. I could have hit myself with the foul swamp. I don't think that's the play though either. Maybe we can get more things that combo with me being an asset later. That turn we healed, and I think we are not taking damage. so he's dying next turn good all right here's the great sword and we can fully kill one with that because of the opener oh do we have mana yeah uh oh i played it in the incorrect order i removed the mark by playing the mana thing right all right mine obvious play here it'll be fine I don't think these guys... I mean, I don't know the Shadow Castle that well, so he may be able to do something. This guy in the back is dead. And he just does the Shroud of Darkness thing. Essence of Storm plus one mana. Oh. And we're now healing because of the inner peace. And no... Uh, we have nothing taking... Like the Parasite taking stuff from me. Uh, so they are attacking, we are gaining enough defense that I don't have to take, play the toxic shield on them. Oh, he's not even getting to attack this guy, yeah, so. We need more ca cards that can spend my mana. That's why the Great Sword was such a good addition to the deck. What are you? Opener to the defense. Have you seen him attack yet? No, he doesn't really do anything. gonna have to run through all these thorns as we get out of the room though so we want to kill him but if I stop moving I'll take acid stacks I would rather not but well, he's gonna die on his turn yeah he is already dead oh, I can't target him all right you get to heal and then he dies oh he can't be targeted by my Familiar either, so no, no, no mind. But he ran in and killed himself. Okay. All right, we still need some better stuff to fill in the deck. Bracer is another familiar, with give me a chance to uh, retain defense. This is unreliable, which is why I would hesitate. Backlash, firebomb, deal two damage, and add fire, fire to unit. Add one fire parasite 
card to hand and a bit of shield. We'll take the bracer. Uh, can I... No, I can't look at my mutators. Okay, I was wondering if Blink would... Uh... Oh, and it adds a Parasite to hand. No, Dagger Throw. Just a little bit of ranged damage would be nice. I don't hate the fire. I want fa fire parasite to hand, which we can get rid of. Now I think the dagger throw is the right play here. Another great sword? Are you kidding me? Deal two damage at two fire stack and transform one terrain to fire. I have been wondering. I wonder if you can like. Combo, Acid and Fire, it would make sense that this burns easy, but this is already making it into Fire, so that wouldn't really change anything. I think the Antidote is the right play, because that we can then combo more with Acid without worrying too much. Ow. 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 Oh, oh, we can do that. Nope. Didn't work. Shifty moves. Spikes impale you for 10 damage if you end your turn on the same tile you started. No, 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 no. All enemies gain melee mastery. Why would I ever pick that up? I mean, I'm gonna do it. Because I want to see what it does. But I feel like that's gonna kill me. I'm a scientist though. What do we have here? A swamp grunt. If melee specialist, he's not a melee master. Melee spe maybe that's what it means. Melee specialist, not melee mastery. All enemies gain it. Why would I give it to them? I don't get it. To make them want to come to me, and then we can combo off of that or something. These guys are ranged, so then they don't. Maybe they can't have ranged specialist. If they have melee specialist, which is the only positive side I see to that, and that may be what is intended. This guy's defending, this is the only one attacking. I say we draw. Uh, yeah. Do it there, and hardened iron, yeah. stuff. Now I don't know how hard he hits. Uh, oh, we can burn the parasite. Good stuff. We could run away is what I'm thinking. And not allow him to attack that turn. While I'm, I'm still sort of building up for this combat, so I think we are gonna run. Now they're all attacking next turn, though. Oh no, they, oh. Yeah, okay, never mind. Hmm. Acid cancel, detoxify, reduce damage taken from acid by X. Okay, that's all it does. I'm kind of regretting that card, but I'm maybe we'll see it shine later, who knows. I think we gotta play this to get rid of it. Then rejuvenate for next turn, sure. Attack you, just because we can do damage. I'm scared of this guy, I don't know how hard he's gonna hit. Could run away again. Yeah, I think we gotta run.
And they are taking a whole lot of damage from trying to chase us down here. Oh, and it ran the wrong way, so now it's gonna have to run all the way back through that acid. That was a death sentence it did for itself, I think. Or made. Burn card, opener. Bracer. Theory of shield. Can I hit all the way back there? No. Uh, I might want to steal this one's acid stacks just to be safe for this turn. We can burn a card, and I'm okay with that. We can burn this succumb, which we are not going to use. Thin the deck and man, make us draw the good stuff more often. Coated dagger. Oh, it applied acid stacks to me. So the antidote works here. Oh, and I think these guys drop acid cards when they when they die, don't they? Antidote. He is uh, very dead, that guy. Uh, I don't have to touch him. Might as well just toxify and then dagger throw. Raising fail, okay. There's a lot of damage that I'm gonna run through here when we're done. That's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully that guy, other guy runs about round in a little bit. But the more I burn cards, the, the more often I will draw my healing here. So we will burn the Mark of the Phoenix. Opener will give me defense right now. And then running around in the thorns here. Destroying them for me, thank you. It spawned in front of me. We will run into it to use the defense on it. And I, my antidote should work to stop some of the poison coming in next turn here. We'll try to keep an eye on it. I have 20 health right now. 22. Three yes, it's Dex. Uh, so I did not lose any health to the acid. I kept my acid stacks though. Opener. Oh, I did that wrong. But we will move forward. Confirm. Here is shield. Detoxify. Didn't need the ethereal shield, could have punched. This is such a weird build, but I love it. Passively killing them, and right now we're running forward to try to destroy the thorn bushes. <laughs> That's the only reason, while also healing a bit. Antidote. Daggerthrow does nothing. We can burn a card. We'll burn the back of Daggerthrow then. Then move. Oh, then I can't afford to detoxify. Oops, it is easy. Yeah, okay, that was a misplay. right now but whatever there detoxify and that's all my mana all right and he's dead anyway so it's fine
Interesting. We came out on top. Lightning. Cast two lightning strikes, dealing two damage each. Ranged period. It's like a bad card. Overpower. When played, will ignore strength of the origin unit. Even worse. It's four damage, I suppose. Burning Rage. If you have fire, stacks add two strength. If stacks bigger than ten, add four strength. Okay, nice. Venom Shield and Venom Shield. I guess we'll take the Lightning. This is not terrible. Two Lightning Strikes dealing two damage each, so that's four. Acid Storm to build the stacks even faster. Immediately trigger your fire stack, then transfer it to an enemy. I'm sure we would meet some enemies later on that do fire damage. And this would allow me to also get some of those fire cards that hurt me. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, this would be fire spirit instead of my defense spirit, but the defense spirit is upgraded. And um, we need the defense spirit. All right. More poison enemies. This is going to be just fine. We get the bracer in the first turn. Just checking that uh, I'm not missing anything. I think it's fine. He's attacking, which could be bad, but we do get the ethereal shield here for, for zero. You get, like the opener is such an, um, a broken, the overpowered card. Not that it has to be balanced, but that's definitely like just one of the strongest cards. Does so much and it costs zero. Here's the parasite, but we cannot get rid of it. Foul swamp. This guy adds poison onto himself. No, no, we did that, I think. That's good enough. Oh, he's healing. Okay. And he's gonna bomb me with acid. Right? Acid splash, yeah. Which we do take damage from, but we can at least combo off of it in some ways, or we have some and we have some deterrence. Peter Shield for Mark of the Phoenix. I think we just toxify. Do we wanna steal some defense? think so. Yeah, they're all melee specialists. And this guy is both a melee specialist and a range specialist. I don't get... It is a choice whether or not I want to take melee masters. I'm just trying to figure out there must be a reason why you would want to. I can think of one reason and that is to remove it from the pool of mutations that show up. So now next time I will get two, a choice between two and I would not see this one again at least. But I still think it's just too punishing to to justify even for that so i made the run harder fun oh right we're not stealing s stacks oh did i get rid of my s stacks first then ha huh. i've have never used the bitter shield for that specific purpose so Yet. I mean, I guess if we haven't ever used the Bitter Shield, then well, I used it wrong. He did exactly six, so we got lucky. They heal. And he got rid of his acid stacks. Okay. So maybe we can't kill him with that. Detoxify... I do want to burn a card. I want to burn the Pyromania since it will serve me nothing in this battle here. I will lightning strike this guy twice. 
Lightning never strikes the same twice, but in this case it did. And we will rejuvenate. We will detoxify. Yeah, I think he's healing off of asset stacks too. That is kind of interesting. We have the great sword, so we can we can harm them. It's gonna have to be with that though. And it may be that I cannot beat them. Dagger throw. Will do damage. Straw. You can burn the mark of the Phoenix. Opener. Punch. Ethereal shield. Detoxify. Enter. We really need a card that makes me heal off of acid stacks like we had in the previous run. burned a parasite yet okay here's the great sword good oh but that's my entire turn then uh which is probably fine i wasn't gonna do much other important stuff a little bit like playing the detoxify but it can wait i suppose yeah great sword is important here Oh, they've got some urns here that I can throw at people. I didn't notice. All right, we'll wait until they have no defense. Oh wait, I can I can kill this guy. And that dropped a bomb. Burn card, parasite. We would need to detoxify this turn. Ah, but the bitter shield should have come first. Dang it. And the movement should have come first. Okay, so now we don't want to move. He is taking damage now, but he's transmuting to heal from the acid stacks. Antidote. Can we gain shield in any way? No. So I would take two damage from moving for the thorns and then detoxify. What then? Detoxify, Toxic Shield, Bitter Shield will defend me here. Ah, but we already had have defense. Okay, so quick step. Then Bitter Shield. Hardened Iron. Oh, I can't. Oh, now I can't do the Detoxify. We can do Antidote, Opener. Oh, it's on him, obviously. Right. Ethereal shield. This will steal his acid stack so he can't heal with it. Oh, there's the thing that I was needing. Ah, and then he gained a little bit, not as much then. I'm taking damage. 
So we still want to thin the deck so that I can get more in a piece. And I think we don't we don't want to move here because we would take damage. So burn card, succumb, detoxify. I was about to play the dagger, but that would have been terrible. Are we even killing him? I can't tell. I need to get to him, obviously, so I can hit him with a great sword. We have defense, so we can quick step. Detoxify. Burn. Dagger throw. Gain mana. I know we can move, use it to move in great sword, but I need to draw inner peace more often. That does hurt me, unfortunately, so we will take six damage here. Yikes. Oh, it already hurt me, I see. Hardened iron. I cannot move now and detoxify. Dang it, I did it wrong. between the antidote and the inner peace, I feel like we will... We will uh, make it... Gotta save for the detoxify, hold on. So move. Detoxify. No reason to not play the opener. Can I punch here? No, I was thinking maybe we could destroy the thorns. Oh, there's an urn here that can help us finish him off. We'll do it when he has no armor. I'm healing now. Oh, and he shifted to the other side. I think we're about to draw the great sword, so this would be the end. But we have no mana because we moved. I didn't think he would move behind me this turn, I'll be honest. So, yeah. And now he's gonna run away again. I could move to this side of him. Would that help? I think the answer is no. Uh, we will burn. That be the shield now. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Oh, the urn, we need to throw the urn on him. Ah, but now he's got 10 defense again. I'm not ever gonna be able to hit him with the great sword. Hmm. We had no defense. I thought we did. Oh, and I hit armor, so that didn't do anything. God damn it, this is such a tricky fight. I think we take the toxic shield on him, just to steal his acid stacks. Oh, he wasn't gonna heal that turn. I'm healing, though, right? That went on my armor because my armor is preserved between turns, I guess, and then sometimes I can get away with that if if my uh, guy here, he helps me preserve armor. I think that's what we're looking at is happening. We'll burn the toxic shield. Uh, 
and detoxify. He's gonna keep running away. No, he came closer. We cannot get the great sword on him. Not this turn anyway. What we can is we can switch position with him. So that he's moved up against the wall again. Confirm. We can punch him, but not that does anything, because he's got armor. Oh, we've got backstep. Aha. Detoxify. I think we are outlasting him here. He's taking damage. Oh, and I can finish him with the urn now. Let's do it. I'm tired of this fight. Pool enemy. It's two stack of acid to an enemy for one. Backlash firebomb. Deal two damage and add five fire to a unit. Add one fire parasite to card to hand. We are going to grab that one and try it out. Uh, ext extinguishing smash. Exhausting Smash. Deal 10 damage to an enemy. Lose 4 strength. No backstab. But I have no strength, so I can't really lose strength. And then there's the Discard and Draw, which is just a good card. Rejuvenate and Transmute. Remove your asset stack after healing for its size. There it is. But it's a Perish card, so it won't stick around. But it helps me in those kinds of fights. We are doing a mutation room because we don't want to spend our money. We need to save up for the mana increase. I know we have plenty. Ah, so maybe I should have done it. Hmm. Oh, and I could remove a card in the shop, you know. Printing money. At the end of your turn, all your core mutations spawn one key PH. Core mutations. Gum bounce. Raise max strength by... Limit by one. If you end your turn on the same tile, you started it. Otherwise, you lose five strength. That's interesting. We do stand still most of the time. But I don't have a way to gain strength. I also cannot lose it, so it really doesn't do anything. I think we should grab the printing money thing. To just have more passive income. Now we need to suspend it on upgrades. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, that's a max. Uh, we will grab more health. And I don't see anything wrong with getting another pet. Alright. I may have done a goof by not visiting the shop. Where I could also have bought a temp tent, right? We know this fight. At least I won't be bogged down in the same way. But I can't remove strength, which he's building. Uh, so we may be in trouble here. We don't need the transmute... We need the draw here. Acid pet is good. Parasite, unstable mana. I will probably remove the transmute. Because we can't do much else this turn. And make it perish. I think we have a chance. But he is gonna hurt like a mofo. Antidote is nice. Rejuvenate, burn card, pyromania. They got your fire stack then turn. Okay. Hmm. Would I. Burn anything here. I could burn the Pyromania, but it does help with the other thing that I, I bought. Uh, this one perishes when I play it, so we just play it. And I think I stand my ground. I know we could draw the the Greatsword, but I need to move after, so he doesn't double double attack. We need to move every turn where he is about to attack. Rather, Pyromania. 
and I will play this to thin the deck. Then transfer it to an enemy that could also be a way to damage him. Hmm. Right, then he gains two strength per turn if I let him double defense. Now I don't know which is worse. Backlash, firebomb. Deal two damage, add fire, fire unit, add one. Fire, parasite, card to hand. So come, double gate, acid stack, bit of shield, dagger throw. Enforce. Backlash, firebomb. I think we want to take this guy off the field. Fire Parasite. When this card is discarded, duplicate your fire stack, but we don't have one. Dagger throw. Spend the gain mana because we don't need it. He's about to attack, but I could do Bitter Shield. I wouldn't do it on him, I would do it on him, if anyone. No, this is uh, my own as a stack. Crap. Don't have enough defense. We have to quick step away. Remember to turn around. Confirm. Can't move them or anything. And turn. <laughs> We're not gonna win this. Mark of the Phoenix could save me. Bracer could save me now that I think about it. Great sword would have been nice. No lie. Uh, maybe I did a dumb here. Oh, I got fire stacks somehow. Interesting. I'm not sure where that came from. That's kind of worrisome. Ah, uh, no. Not that. Anything about that? Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, we gotta move. We don't have any way to gain defense here. Oh, this will... give me fire stacks on the next turn. Which we hopefully would then draw the pyromania with. Right. It prevents death. And I would die if I stood still. So I think we do Mark of the Phoenix and hope. Uh, that would kill this guy here. Yeah. Hmm. That did way more damage than I thought it would, but that's fine. Can't complain about that. Now we need to draw the Pyromania, otherwise it's death. Oh, it leaves me with one HP. I see. No Pyromania. Well, whoops. I think that's it. Well, this run was always doomed, probably. <sighs> I thought I had something going. With one, a one HP right now, so I can't even move or anything. Not that he's attacking me. You can fizzle once, but you can only fizzle once during a turn, yeah. That's it. GG. You have been defeated, but your soul remains intact. Oh, it doesn't allow me to restart this time or re refresh from a checkpoint. Okay. 
Uh, max rooms unlock. Okay, rebirth. So we would have unlocked something new, and that'll be something that we explore in the next episode. This was also a bit of a longer one. Uh, I guess I have not beaten that boss yet, so there's something to work towards. I hope you all enjoyed this run, and see you in the next one. We'll probably just start tomorrow. So yeah, see you around.